What's up guys? Welcome back to Erudite Magic. My name is Jeff Kowalk and you are absolutely in the right place if you love all things magic book related. So glad you're here. Let's get into this. I'm really excited today because I have something completely different than what I have reviewed before. And in fact, I think what I'm bringing you is something completely new that you've never heard of. Oh, and did I mention, I think I'm going to do my very first giveaway this video. So pay attention. I will put something down in the comments with a timestamp for what qualifies for the giveaway, but I'm excited to be doing my very first giveaway. So you don't want to miss it. So what's so exciting this week, you might ask? Glad you did. This week, I'm going to be talking about Marty Kane's chicanery. Now, I don't really know how to do this, but I want to make sure that it's clear. This is the very first time someone has sent me a book and asked me to review it. So yes, I did receive this book for doing a review. In other words, I didn't buy it, but I want to make sure you know that's not going to change my perspective on being completely honest about the book. And as Marty put it, I don't think that the $10,000 is going to influence me one way or the other. So who's Marty Kane? If you're like me, you had a passing familiarity with Marty, but you probably didn't know that much about him. I had seen his tricks in Steve Beam's semi-automatic card series, but other than seeing his name, I knew nothing about him. Marty is a psychiatrist down in Florida, and so he has an MD in addition to having been a magician for a very long time. This is a completely self-published book, and I have to tell you, I was very impressed with the production values. This is a hardcover book, over 220 pages of magic. So knowing that Marty has been published in Steve Beam's semi-automatic card series, it might give you a little better idea of what to expect from this particular book. As Marty points out in the introduction to the book, caveat emptor. If you don't like spelling, you may not like this book. If you don't like dealing, you may not like this book. If you don't like spelling while dealing a lot, you may not like this book a lot. So what's in the book? There are a lot of spelling tricks, dealing tricks, uh, but there's also a very wide variety of these types of magic. This is a very specialized type of book. Now, I think that it's totally worth it to have a book in your collection that is very specialized. So for example, when you think about specialized books, I think about things like The Impostorous Princess. It covers one particular effect, and in Marty's book's case, it doesn't cover one particular effect, but it does cover one particular style of magic. This style is going to be appealing to some and probably a turnoff for others. Most of the tricks in this book rely on mathematical principles. For some people, this is really going to get the juices flowing. It may make you think about how amazing some of these mathematical principles are and why they work. This is the type of book that when you perform the items in the book, when you're running through them with cards in hand, you're going to fool yourself. I personally thoroughly enjoyed this book. Like I said, I like having books that are somewhat specialized so that when I'm looking for a spelling trick or something with a mathematical principle, I have one place to go that I know is going to cover a lot of ground. That's this book. In addition, Marty has a very engaging style. The book is very funny to read. I have a friend whose name is Paul, and Paul, to me, has always been known as the king of puns. I'm sorry, Paul, but you've been dethroned. The king is dead, long live the king. Marty Kane has some of the most corny, cheesy puns that you've ever seen, and you will laugh. In fact, if I had to point out one of the biggest takeaways from this book, it's that you're going to get so many patter ideas and joke ideas to use in your tricks. Now this type of humor is going to be specialized, but most of the magicians I've met tend to enjoy this style of humor. If you do like this style of humor, then this book is going to have a lot of value to you, even if you don't learn a single trick. But I'm sure you're going to learn at least one trick. The jokes themselves translate well into lots of different types of magic, so you're going to get that for sure. But let's talk about the tricks for a second. I already said that they're 
fairly high on the dealing procedures or procedure heavy, let's just call it. But what I found is that procedure heavy does not necessarily mean not entertaining. Entertainment value is always up to you as a performer. And I think that one of the things that I admire most about Marty and the way that he presents these tricks is they almost always have a very interesting angle or plot line that he's pursuing when he's doing the trick. You're going to find a lot of story tricks where different cards represent different things in the deck. You're going to have a lot of discussion about Australia, the down under deal, and why that makes sense. Cards are given inanimate representations, or sometimes animate representations. In my opinion, this kind of book is going to be perfect for the people who have a fairly limited audience. Most of the effects in this book are probably not going to be great for table hopping, although there's no doubt in my mind that it can be adapted to be efficient for table hopping. But I think this is going to appeal a lot to the casual performer who has a captive audience, a smaller audience who is going to be involved and interested in what they have to show. If you're trying to win over the audience's attention with these types of tricks, I think you're gonna have a harder uphill battle. However, I would also say that these tricks can be a very nice change of pace from the pick a card, I'll find it, or even a torn or restored or anything else. Doing something that involves a procedure, you're gonna want some tricks that are fast and you're gonna want some that add a little bit of texture and are slower, and I think that most of the tricks in this fit the bill. The book itself would be nothing if they, were, if they weren't entertaining, but I found myself often smiling at the ideas that Marty had come up, come up with, occasionally shaking my head at the terrible puns, although they did make me smile. In today's world, when we're looking for Zoom-ready type performance material, a lot of this would fit that bill. Not all of it's going to be perfect, and it's certainly not designed for that. Some of it requires a setup or a particular... Uh, stack or things like that. And most of it is gonna be more effective when you can have the spectators themselves doing the dealing. The other cool thing is that if you're interested in the mathematical principles behind a lot of magic effects, Marty's very well read. He gives you a lot of references to the genesis of these ideas of the tricks of his, the historical, where you can find it. And sometimes he even goes back into history to explain where the original mathematical principle came from. I was particularly interested in a trick that involved a circle of cards, and it refers back to the Josephus principle, whereby Josephus and one of his friends escaped death by using this mathematical principle. I think that there's a story for a card trick somewhere in there. Marty's very well read, and it shines through in the book, even if he is kind of a Marlowe guy. He talks about using the Marlowe tilt. So as an example, if you are interested in Jim Steinmeier's nine card problem, or if you are interested in will the cards match, then this is gonna be the type of material that I think will play well for you, and you'll probably enjoy reading through the book. The principles behind the actual methods are oftentimes well described, and he gives you some tables that illustrate how you can adjust it. There are usually variations on the tricks, so if you wanna add an additional kicker, or do something a little bit different with the trick, he's giving you enough information to change that on your own. This is one of those books that I think can grow with you. So if you're just starting out, there's going to be some references to other works that are gonna go way over your head, but it's also going to give you something where you can jump off from. Everything is well explained and easy enough for the beginner to pick up because he doesn't require a lot of sleight of hand. Most of these items are in that semi-automatic vein. And in fact, a large percentage of them were published in the semi-automatic series as previously discussed. So let's talk a little bit about the value of this book. In my opinion, this book represents a remarkable value. This is a hardbound book, over 200 pages, and it's only $35 directly from the author. Now I have the entire semi-automatic card tricks series, so I'm able to look up a lot of these tricks in those works, but here's one standardized compiled version of it, and if you were looking to get the best of Marty Kane from those books, this could be your way to go because it's only $35, so it's less than even one volume of the semi-automatic card trick series. 
Personally, I think this would be a great way to look into the semi-automatic type work is get this book from either Marty or Steve Beam. And if it suits your fancy, you may consider expanding that repertoire to the semi-automatic card trick series down the road. I should mention Steve Beam did do the forward, did a lot of the proofing and helped with a lot of the jokes. So again, if you're familiar with that series and you know Steve Beam's style of humor, basically Marty and Steve share a very similar style of humor. One of the sections in here had nothing but jokes set up with a card trick. So it's not so much a magical card trick as it is a setup for a punchline. But there's even one key points in mind reading that I think could be a fantastic setup for an out of this world card trick. So there's not a whole lot of magic in it, but it does get the spectators to relax. It sets up the premise and it gives you a funny moment before you get into something a little bit more serious. And that's what I meant about this book. I think that it can add texture to your act. So this is going to fill in where a direct card trick may not be what you're looking for. You're looking for something that's a little bit offbeat and a different flavor. Everything in this book is for the most part cards. At the very end of the book, there is one trick or technically two, depending on how you look at it, it's kind of a variation on the theme. There are two tricks that don't use playing cards, but one of them is one of the funniest that I've seen. It ends up with your entire audience making an obscene gesture at you. So it's only going to play in the right place. I'm not suggesting that this is going to be part of your family show material, but it is pretty funny and I love the way the setup goes in that trick. There are stories, there are gambling demonstrations, there are tricks with some dice, but for the most part this is all cards. All right, let's talk about the giveaway. Here's how I would like to do it. This will be a cross-platform giveaway, I think, at this point. So if you're interested in winning your own copy of Marty Kane's hardcover 220 page book, here's what I need you to do. You need to like this video and then add a comment down below tagging someone else that you think might be interested in this book as well. I'm gonna leave the contest open for the entire week. So today is October 4th. The contest will close October 10th at noon East Coast time. Now, you have to be a resident of the continental United States. Sorry, everybody, but I can't pay for international shipping. If you are a resident of the continental United States, you don't, there's no cost to the entry. The only thing you need to do is click like and submit a comment down below with someone else that you think might enjoy this book. Pretty easy. I look forward to whoever wins this book. I think you're really going to enjoy it. So for everyone else, I do recommend this book. I don't think that it's going to appeal to everyone, just the nature of it, that it does deal with a lot of dealing. And that's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But even for me, who I, I don't do as many card tricks uh, as I used to, I still think that this is going to add a lot of value to me. I think there are pieces in here that I would perform. And I think that there's a lot of fun patter that I will probably pirate from this book and deploy in other areas. And for the price, $35, I think that it's pretty hard to top that kind of value for a highly attractive, hardbound book of the best of someone's material. So I'm gonna include a link down below to order this directly from Marty. Marty, I wanna thank you for sending me the book. I wasn't aware of the book's existence. So I hope that uh, everyone else will now know this book exists and you probably will enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for commenting. It means a lot that you guys watch this channel. I love magic books and I love to connect with people who love magic books. So if this channel isn't enough for you and the comments aren't enough, feel free to send me an email. I love to receive correspondence and I would be happy to write you back. As always, if there are any questions that I did not address in this review, I am an open book. And until next time, keep reading.